Come on in. Madeline Shepherd is just like any other active two-year-old. But every day spent like this one, her parents count their blessings. At birth, the oxygen level in Madeline's brain fell dramatically, and she suffered severe brain damage. But she made a remarkable recovery, <laughs> thanks to this unusual cap. Things are absolutely fine. I mean, she's a lovely little girl, very lively. Um, she is smashing. And looking back at just how very bleak things were at the beginning, it's very difficult to look and believe it's the same child. Two out of every 1,000 babies born in Britain are brain damaged from a lack of oxygen at birth. In developing countries, that figure can be much higher. A lack of oxygen to a tiny newborn brain can lead to cerebral palsy, blindness and epilepsy. The process of being born is basically quite a dangerous event. A number of things can go wrong and, and the baby is like a, a diver, totally dependent on the supply of oxygen through the cord and uh, it's therefore sometimes described as one of the most dangerous uh, journeys that you ever make in your life, the journey from inside to outside your mummy's tummy. Until now, there has been no treatment for babies who've been deprived of oxygen at birth. But baby Madeline was born in St Michael's Hospital in Bristol, England. It was here that Dr Marianne Torreson was pioneering a new cooling cap treatment. She was very, very sick at birth, very little normal responses when we examined her. She needed maximal intensive care. Dr. Torreson uses a plastic cap to circulate water around the heads of newborn babies to reduce their temperature. This is um, the cooling cap, which is thin plastic with lots of tubing in it through which we can have the cold water flowing. So the cold water coming from the cooling machine comes in through this hose and normally it would have a temperature around 10 degrees. And having circulated through the cap and been heated up a little bit um, by the baby, um, it comes out through this hose. We use the principle of cooling as a protective treatment in, in many daily situations. If you burn your hand, the first thing you do is run to the tap and put the cold water on. If you strain your ankle, the same, you put cold packs around your joint and the swelling goes down and also the injury is much reduced long term. Dr. Torreson's own video shows her tiny patients being cooled. Cooling babies' heads, she believes, may help prevent brain damage. When you've had a period of too little oxygen, your neurons, your brain cells, they don't die immediately. The processes that decides whether a neuron is going to go on to die or not is very temperature sensitive. During those few days, cooling is likely to be effective. Professor John Wyatt from University College Hospital in London is the cooling trials coordinator. We still don't know exactly how it works, but there is quite a lot of scientific evidence now that a small reductions in temperature can switch off these damaging reactions taking place in the brain and therefore allow the healing processes, the repair processes that are naturally present in the brain to occur and allow the brain to recover. That's the theory, but with the treatment only at trial stage, there were no guarantees for Madeline. With a 70% chance she would die or be left with severe disabilities, her parents felt they had little choice. It might work, it might not. It was such an early trial project. But I don't think you hesitated, did you? I think you no. just said, well, fine, was, let, her, let her have it. It was a glimmer of light. We had to, we had to try something. Just six hours after she was born, Madeline was head cooled. The cooling lasted for 72 hours with round the clock nursing care. Her doctors were hopeful. At the end of the day, you can only tell when a child grows up, and we use the age one and a half years. Madeline has now reached that benchmark. She's almost two, and both her parents and Dr. Torreson are thrilled with her development. <laughs> Having developed this well um, up to this age, the um, chances that she will do well also when she's older is, is very, very high. 
It won't be until the last baby in the cooling trial is a year and a half old that the doctors will be able to be sure of the success of head cooling. But they're hopeful that soon the cooling cap will be used to save many more babies' lives. I'm very optimistic that the idea of uh, reducing brain temperature uh, will really make a difference uh, in the future. Uh, if we can show that cooling is both safe and effective, uh, then this is the sort of treatment that could be used in many centres, including in possibly in developing countries around the world. <laughs>